Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox 2, my fellow Vuperians. Uh, just make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss me next time. But let's go ahead and try something new. Last time we opened up this beautiful new update that changes the collisions and makes them a million times better looking. But we didn't really test too many things with it. Like, we threw things at each other, sure. But we haven't looked at the absolute capability. We haven't even looked at any of the uh, fun simulations with it. Oh, are all the images missing? Oh, there they are. Alright, so I've got a few questions like this one. Earth and Sphere of Moons should look a million times cooler now. Please? A million times cooler. If it's not a million times cooler, you can have your money back. Oh, I hope this makes a beautiful ring of explosion. Oh, look at it! Look at that! Oh, it looks so good! Man, this may be my favorite update in a while. It doesn't add much functionally, but visually, it is just absolutely fantastic. Man, it looks so good! I love it! Look at the amount of detail in the collisions and the, the glowingness and the particles. It is really something else. Ooh, would you look at that? Yeah, these particles are way, way better. <laughs> Honestly, it's so much more immersive. Look at that, getting ripped apart. We got like a cool ring going on. I'm not sure if it's stable enough to stay a ring. Let's see. Oh wow, does Earth have a ring now? I think some of those particles will actually stick around for an extended period of time. Poor satellites getting smacked. Some of the moons are actually just fine and ignoring each other. Oh, Earth got hit again. Oh, this is so cool. So, there's a few other things I really, really, really want to try out. Fragmentation got changed, but we've only tested it with planets. What about... with a star? Yeah, now we're talking. Let's go ahead and get a black hole 100 times the mass of the sun. And get the sun. And put it in orbit. I'm hoping that something changed. Not that it was awful before, but just, you know. Oh, that does look different. Oh, look at that. It looks so much more puffy, like cotton. Oh, wow. Look at that, and it glows. You can see that it's still hot plasma. Wow, we didn't even take a look into that. That looks so much better! Look at it cool down, you can tell it's cooling down, it's getting more reddish. Wow, you can actually tell the heat of the particles now. That is absolutely fantastic. Man, look at that, the newer stuff that comes out of the sun is much brighter, and the older stuff is much darker. Did it get ripped apart? Oh, that is so cool! Okay, well, if we're going that scale, might as well scale up a bit more, shall we? I mean, nothing is nothing is stopping us. Oh man, ripping the sun apart though. That is... That is, that is beautiful. Alright. Let's go ahead, grab a much, much, much larger star and let's grab a larger black hole as well 10,000 solar masses and let's go ahead and grab I don't know what star do we want to grab uh Canis Majoris works all right we'll get kind of close so that the limit really hits let's see what happens oh this is gonna be great All right. 
A little bit of lag there for a second. Oh! Oh, we can we can definitely see. Oh, it's a little bit darker. We can definitely see material being pulled off. Doesn't look quite as good as the sun, though. The sun definitely had a bit more personality. For some reason, it's expanded. Oh, huh. all right. Well, that. That's alright, even if the extreme examples don't look very good. Um, if we really want to get a good uh, grasp of how this looks, let's go ahead and get the 100 solar mass. And let's put some planets around it, just to look at the fragmentation. I mean, planets should get ripped apart rather quickly, especially this close to a massive black hole. Yeah, there we go. Look at that, though. That is awesome looking. Alright. Let's see, let's throw Neptune. Let's throw Earth. You Earths. I just want to see the different scales of the particles and how they react with each other. Mercury's. Wow, look at it go. That Jupiter out there is kind of just ignoring the entire situation. One of those, there's the Earth, turned into a tiny cloud of dust. Very nice. Honestly, these, these look really good and they're less laggy too. Like, that's a lot of particles and it just seems to be working fine. So I got no complaints with performance improvements. Honestly, the sun, it just, this may be one of the coolest things, just how fluffy it looks when it gets ripped apart. Oh, look at that one that was super close. That is, ooh. Oh man, what have we done? What have we done? What have we done? <laughs> oh boy. It's a flavor explosion. How it feels to chew five gum. Alright, um... That looks fantastic. That is honestly really neat. I don't know how many more things I can pull through this, let's see. They've got a lot of really good ones in the uh, default stuff, so... Ooh, the Locked Earths. Because they slowly rip each other apart, we can see the transfer apart. Oh man. Look at that. That is so. We. Oh, we can definitely see the particles in that simulation. That one makes it really clear. Sun exploding, Jupiter. Earth exploding. Oh, the planet explode tool. Does it look different? It totally does. Oh my god. Oh, and look at the particles come out. Oh man, that looks really neat. <laughs> Sun exploding. That seems like a little bit more damaging. Whoa! Did you see that? Oh wait, let's look at that again. That was good. Okay, let's slow it down. Let's throw Earth down for some scale. We know what Earth looks like. Hello, Earth. Turn on lighting so that we can actually see what's going on. Lighting. Flashlight, there we go. And in the background, we just get... Oh, man. Look at the amount of damage. Oh, boy. Wow, that is what it looks like when the sun explodes. That is whack. Jupiter doesn't even care. It's like, oh, this is fine. A little warm. I'll make it out all right. <laughs> oh, these all look so good. 
honestly, with the new graphics and fragmentation, everything just looks a bit better. Like, it, it's definitely noticeable the work that went into this, especially on the artsy side. Things just look more how you would expect them to. We, I can't wait until planets actually have like volume and they're not hollow. One day. Oh, you know what would be really neat? Oh, if the game crashed. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess we'll end it there then. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Wow. That, that looks so cool. No, really, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. There's so much more to come.